So I'm outside the vast MEO arena in Lisbon, which, as you can see, is currently in lockdown ahead of the Web Summit's big launch event later on today. Now, in just a few hours' time, thousands of people will be passing through those security gates behind me to attend one of the world's largest technology gatherings. And as you'd expect, the streets of Lisbon are already filling up with founders, investors and policymakers from around the globe. And earlier on, I went down to uh, one of the city centre's central squares, the Terreiro do Paso, to find out what they're expecting here over the next few days. For me, it's really about starting to have conversations with, uh, with different prospects and different organisations, um, get this technology in front of them, make them aware of it. Um, and obviously, you know, the, the, the aim is always to, to generate new business, but exposure and visibility is really important for us. We are doing AI Accelerator for next generation startups. And why we are here, we are here to meet our audience because our target is early stage startups. We definitely would love for investors because we have been bootstrapping for the past three years. We just launched our beta version and we do hope uh, looking for like strategic investor or somebody who believe the next generation travel um, behavior yeah, to um, scale our growth. Well, alongside the talks and exhibitions, there'll be plenty of opportunities for participants to share ideas about what they believe is next in tech and how it's reshaping the world around us. And one of the key events taking place will actually be uh, held on Wednesday at the China-EU Digital Services Cooperation Seminar. That's being held in the morning, and it's bringing together officials and industry leaders to discuss collaboration on digital trade and and innovation and crucially here the opening remarks are going to be made by the co-founder of the web summit Paddy Cosgrave now meanwhile the Chinese delegation uh, will be bringing four exhibiting companies uh, with them to this event including Unitree Robotics they're going to be demonstrating their humanoid and canine uh, robots which are really quite remarkable They'll also be showcasing products from a company called Tencent, including their new AI printer, which can take text or visuals and turn them into uh, 3D visuals right in front of your very eye. So many remarkable things being uh, displayed here. And I'll be checking out those innovations and many others over the next few days, because there is every chance that the next big thing in tech will be revealed right here at the Web Summit. Ray Addison, CGTN, Lisbon.